What's going on, fellers? You never think where I am today. But, uh... We're getting rid of some funky looking pine tree today. It's a Norfolk pine. I personally never fall, uh, felled these before, so I'm just gonna take my time, rig a line in the top, and uh, make do with my tiny chainsaw. You guys would laugh at me. I don't know if it's humbling or embarrassing going from a three foot bar to a 25 inch. Anyway, I'll show you the new saws that I got. These will both be brand new cold starts, so brand new saws. I'll give you a review after, after today. Let's take a look. First saw I bought when I came to Hawaii was a 362. It's what they had at the store, you know. And I thought I might as well start out with something medium or small for me because we're not production fall or falling over here, that's for sure. I got my, my vegan bar oil. Yeah, I gotta spill some off of it. Second saw I bought was an Echo 300. Wanted to save some money on a climbing saw because Echoes have have shown that they're you know the engines are reliable and they're pretty lightweight because obviously they're made out of plastic. Okay, brand new steel 362. Fire it up and let her idle before the job. Good morning, everybody, from uh, Kailua, Oahu. Mr. Jonas, or should I say, fellers. Hey, fellers. How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> so uh, Jonas is tackling a very large Norfolk pine, as you can see. Probably 80 foot plus. Show some of the island people what uh, an Alaskan tree climber is all about. So we're gonna yeah. get him strapping on his stuff, and uh, so what's your what's your game plan there, Jonas? Um, since I don't know the kind of holes in wood or much about the fibers in these pine, I'm gonna rig a line up in the top, then spike back down, uh, rig a tail hold, and have it easy so I can pull it over if I feel. But after that, I'm just gonna wedge it over because that's. This is how we do things. All right.
Okay, so what we just learned here is that the Norfolks is, at least for this tree, is so brittle, he doesn't even need the saw. Look at that, crack, crack, crack. <laughs> No, it's fine. feathers I mean fellers <laughs> well here he is he's about a little over halfway up the tree motoring on up there yeah Jonas Just to got to share with you fellers that uh, you know to make the Petersburg kid feel at home we got to have a little bit of rain so it started to rain a little bit and and Jonas looks like he's in his element as we speak it's about three quarters of the way up the tree I'm getting her done Aloha from Kailua Oahu Buddy. We are pretty close to the top. Um, I'm gonna rig my rope up here and uh, then I'm going to use my device to get the heck down here. I'm, uh, I'm pretty high up. But uh, but yeah. It's all good. Bringing my line up here. <sighs> Clove hitch always does the trick.
trust this thing with your life. My climb line and my rigging line. Here we are in the jungle, baby. Yeah, that's right. Gonna rig a line, pull this big old not Albazia, uh, Norfolk Point. Yeah, after we get the Norfolk Point, we're gonna get it Albazia at a different date. But first we must get the Norfolk Pine. As you can see, coconuts grow coconut trees. Like this one, this old coconut is growing a coconut tree. Isn't that crikey? We are going to rig a line onto this gunpowder tree after we rig a line on the gunpowder tree we will pull the tree over crikey this knot guy's using the bearing sea to tighten stuff down it's like an alpine butterfly but uh what's it called uh it breaks easier get three wraps put the far one in the middle put this one under your first wrap it's like a running bowling some people may argue it's not you know it might be a flying bowling to them right so I'm gonna tie it close to the tree as I can. All right, so there we go. We got the leverage point up there at the top of the tree. He's got it through the carabiner. He's got a two to one ratio pulley system. Tighten it up. Oh, you can just see the tree is coming already, isn't it? Should I do that again? Yeah.
new equipment. Yeah, I just need to get this off modded and dogs. So my dogs aren't big enough. Like I can't grip into the tree. You see how it makes it hard for you to do anything. Yeah, you don't have any leverage to like. I don't have any leverage. So the dogs are too small. Stock chain's dull. <laughs> That's okay. That's how we've how we get how we get better. We That's know how. Fine tune the program. <laughs> yeah, just starting from scratch is not always easy. I got a big face. Still going. That was crazy. Yeah, you. It is control. Oh my god. That's huge. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. No, it was exactly. It was it was all my bar could handle. Well, there's our stump. It's hilarious. This sap is like wood glue. It's been dry for a while. Wonder if it dries like glue too, but it's pretty funny. How it's just like wood glue. I wonder. Now it makes me wonder how they make wood glue, but uh, yeah, good stump, Humboldt. We're gonna cut it, cut it short with this stock chainsaw. It's one of the last times I'm running a stock saw. Goodness me, it needs help. So we're gonna fix that. It's gonna be a before and after. Before and after, you guys can come along for the ride. So. Last cut with the stock saw.
is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, nice. Wow. Look at the growth rings on this, huge. Wow, that's amazing. Nice clean cut. Super clean cut. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get one for myself. <laughs> Look, the sap's coming out already. I think Daphne would love this. Wow. Look good, look good on the porch? That's pretty cool, man. Look at those rings. Wow. You know what, Jonas, just for now, just lean it down here on this end, because um, so Lydia and them go up and down, they won't trip over. Just lean it against there, yeah. 